Hi, Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com. This video, this, this session is going to be a little different than probably what you're used to hearing me talk about and certainly um, what I've talked about in the past. But you know, it's interesting um, spending time on social media. Sometimes things come up and they're surprising. And this surprised me the other day. Um, people were talking about people in the, in the online uh, world, people who have, you know, businesses that uh, they use for social media to grow and that kind of thing, what I call small to medium sized businesses, um, started talking about uh, the idea of diversity and being more diverse and having um, more diverse groups of people come to their events and uh, be their clients. And it struck me that it's interesting in a time when diversity and inclusion are um, sort of buzzwords and, and there's a lot of uh, trainings and things happening in that field to talk about it as it relates to our businesses. Because, you know, think about it when you walk into most events or maybe you have your own or it, when you look at who your own business is, how much diversity is there? And, you know, there's room for diversity even inside niches. Um, if you are, if, if you are somebody who women is your niche, there's a lot of diversity among us gals, right? Um, you know, whether we're talking about skin color, ethnicity, um, you know, uh, orientation, uh, gender identities, if you want to go there, there's so much diversity. Um, you know, I think back as I grew up, um, you know, in, in my high school, it was predominant. Well, there wasn't much diversity. There were a lot of white faces as you walk the halls. And, um, you know, as I've gotten into my life, it, certainly it, it's very diverse, you know, with, with friends and, and acquaintances. And, and, and I'm always proud that when I look at my events, um, there's always a lot of diversity. There's men, there's women, there's black, there's white, there's Hispanic, there's Asian, there's gay, there's straight, there's transgender. Um, and there are a lot of ways to look at that, but how do you get to a point where that happens? The first thing I would tell you is you have to, you have to be real about it. It can't be fake, right? You can't go buy, um, you know, pictures <laughs> off of one of the, the photo places and put them in your sales pages to make it look like there's diversity. It has to be real because, you know, people will very quickly see um, oh my gosh, you know, I thought this was going to be a diverse group. It's, it's all, you know, one race. It's all one type of person. And, you know, it's easy for us to have that happen because think about it. You know, we talk about usums. We talk about, you know, you, you being one of them um, makes it easier to market to them. And so, you know, whoever you are, you know, with all of those, and, and first of all, let me just say, I, I really don't like labels, and so that's not what this is about, um, but you have to talk about some of that when you're talking about this issue of diversity and diversity and inclusion. And so when you look around, who do you see? Do you see people that are like you? Um, and that's common, it, and it's common because it's comfortable for us, right? It's comfortable for us to go to those kinds of places, to speak to those kind of groups, to talk to people who look like us, who act like us, who um, have had some of the same experiences, if you will. But if you really start to look at those things, again, take women as a niche, entrepreneurial women, my gosh, it's a pretty diverse group when you start to look at it inside of that, the niche of women. So a couple suggestions that I would make is that, you know, start to, it's going to create, if you want to be more diverse in your business, you really have to be proactive. You've got to go to groups of people that aren't like you, whether it's, again, skin color, ethnicity, orientation, whatever it happens to be. Um, and reach out and say, hey, I'd like to talk to you about doing something with you or speaking to your group or, and then have a reason, you know, have a, a reason why that it's important and, and, and something that you can add uh, to the group. And then being real about it, right? It, it, I think it's, you know, when, you, when we were having this conversation in one of the Facebook groups the other day, people were talking about, yeah, it's hard to even find 
you know, photos of uh, diverse groups to put on sales pages and those kinds of things. And I sort of chuckled because while it may be difficult to find, you know, good photos, um, I don't have a problem because I've taken them at my own events. And that's what I use are the real photos, the real diverse. So, you know, you could start doing that by if you're attending places and, and it's diverse um, and using those photos. But again, I'm going to caution you that however you do this, it may be a slow process if you have an interest in diversifying and being a little more inclusive in your business, make it real because um, if it's just a in real in two ways, real in your heart that you really want to do it, and real in that in what you're putting up, right? Um, the photos and that kind of thing. And I think being open about it and saying, you know, look, I, I want to increase the diversity. I want more um, diversity and more. Uh, variety and more, you know, representation of the world in general. Um, you know, and again, it, a lot of different areas. Maybe it's religious views. Maybe it's, and here's the other piece. It's not always obvious um, when you look at a photo uh, or hear somebody talk in a video that they bring about a diverse uh, or different thing, right? Religion, potentially, um, you wouldn't know necessarily. Um, sometimes orientation you wouldn't know. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, even ethnicity, uh, if you're hearing somebody's voice or whatever. So just do it in a way that's genuine. And I think being honest and saying, look, this is, I, I want more diversity and I want more people of, of variety. Um, and then reaching out and, and making a real effort to make that happen. If you would like some, uh, some additional training or advice um, on diversity, uh, let me know. Again, you can send me an email at info at completemarketingsystems.com. There's not really anything on my website at this time. There will be, but uh, if you have questions about this, I would love to connect with you and, and see if there's a way that I could help you uh, in this realm as well. So just reach out. And again, I'm Diane Conklin with completemarketingsystems.com. Thanks for being here. Hope you got something out of this. Make it a great day and I'll see you next time.